What's up everyone? This is Dave over at Green Hat Kiteboarding and today we're going to talk about tuning your foil. And when I say tuning your foil, I'm going to be talking about shimming your tail and base plate shimming. Now, these two things can completely change the way that your foil feels in the water. So with that, I'm going to go over all of the different when to positive shim, when to negative shim, and maybe just to keep it neutral. But before we go any further, I have to let you know that not all systems will let you use a tail shim. If you have a tail like this, it is fixed, so you can unfortunately not use a tail shim, but you can still base plate shim. So we're gonna go over that too. Let's get started. So first, what is a tail shim? A tail shim changes the angle of attack on your rear wing. Think of it like a trim tab for your foil. It controls lift, stability, and pitch sensitivity. Positive shim, more tail down, increased angle of attack. What that does is it creates more lift at lower speeds, which helps you get on foil easier, more front foot pressure, you'll feel more locked in on the front foot, better low speed stability, which is great for learning, pumping, or riding small waves. There is a downside though. Less top speed, more drag, and it's harder to push into steep drops without breaching. Now, negative shims. Tail up, reduced angle of attack. Less lift, more speed. Better glide and efficiency. More back foot pressure. Feels looser and more agile. Better for high speed carving and bigger waves. Less likely to overfoil. There are downsides. Harder to get up on foil at low speeds, less forgiving for beginners. Of course, no shim, neutral, balance feel between speed, lift, and stability. Good starting point if you're unsure. Now let's get into base plate shims. A base plate shim changes the mast angle relative to your board. Nose down, thick end in the back. This setup increases pumping efficiency and improves initial takeoff giving you that extra lift when you need it most. You'll trade a bit of carving stability, but gain incredible low end control and feel. Best for flat water pumping, light wind waning, mellow downwinders, and micro surf sessions. Perfect for riders who want maximum efficiency and early lift in lower speed conditions. Nose up, thick end in the front. This setup enhances carving and pitch stability, making it perfect for high speed waning, towing, kite foiling, or racing. You'll feel tighter control through turns and less pitching at top speeds. Keep in mind, it reduces pumping efficiency and initial lift, so you may need to shift your stance slightly back or move the mass forward about 0.5 centimeters in the tracks. You can think of using a base plate shim as a way to level out your foil in relation to the water, especially if the board's foil box isn't set at a neutral 90 degree angle. On some boards, the tracks are installed on top of bottom rocker, which is usually a nose up angle, especially for wing or prone boards. That means when you bolt your foil on without a shim, the mast makes the wing tilt slightly up or down in angle relative to the waterline. Some quick tuning tips. If you want easier lift and stability, positive tail shim plus base plate shim in the back. If you want more speed and looseness, negative tail shim plus base plate shim in the front. Always change one variable at the time so you know exactly what's making the difference. And of course, just like anything else in foiling, small adjustments go a long way. Even a 0.5 adjusting angle can be noticeable. Shims are like seasoning and cooking. A little tweak can completely change the flavor. So next time you feel like your foil is too pitchy, too slow, or too back foot heavy, try adjusting your tail or base plate shims before swapping out your wings. 
you might be surprised how much better it feels. If you want more reviews like this, like, comment, all that fun stuff, and you can check us out at greenhackkiteboarding.com.